Okay, here's the short and sweet. It's custom front bumper. Behind this, there's actually a receiver that you can put a hitch or whatnot in, and it's got a little plate that we made to put the uh, license plate on. It's got the, if you can look right there, you can see the tie rod has been flipped, and uh, it's got Chevy one-ton tie rod ends, and a, a DOM drag link and tie rod to beef it up. You can see right there, it's got tie downs if you need to haul it on a trailer. Um, you can't really make it out, but it's got the uh, dr uh, axles with the bigger U-joint cups than stock. Um, all the ball joints when this thing was built were replaced, so they have got very few miles on them. You can see lots of tread on the tires. Um, there's the engine, fuel injected 351, GT40 intake, mass airflow, roller rockers, just like we listed in the uh, in the ad. Um, it does have onboard air compressor, so you can uh, pump tires up and whatnot when you air down. Um, it's rigged with a six point uh, six pin plug for towing. It's all ready, you just plug it in and you got lights. That's where the ECU sits for the for the uh, computer. It's got a Ford F-250 camper special um, brake cylinder there that uh, has bigger cups than factory so it stops a lot better. Um, it's got a Chevy uh, column, tilt column in it and a U-joint type steering and there is it's a 4x4 Ford 4x4 uh, steering box that's been made to steer the proper direction they're a lot stronger than a factory Bronco they are wild horses five and a half inch or excuse me three and a half inch uh, lift springs it has a three inch body lift uh, we did that right we welded those spacers to the frame and then used standard body mount so it's a nice solid body mount um, that was necessary for some of the modifications that were made if you notice most broncos are rusted out right there this one is not because those skirts on both sides are brand new we stuck those in when we built it door inserts fire extinguisher like I said tilt column CB tack um, factory gauges Headlight switches and whatnot are, are in like this. There's some uh, aftermarket gauges there. It's got a 205 transfer case. Um, it's got a custom built uh, center console with cup holders. It's got a family cage. And it's got a uh, Safari top on it. So it makes it a little nicer for people riding in the back. Um, individual folding, folding and tumbling rear seats. They, they fold forward individually and you can flip it forward. Go ahead. Push. I can't, with holding the camera I can't get a leverage. <laughs> there we go. Under the seat storage, a stainless steel box right there. It's screwed to the floor so it won't slide around. And it has uh, shoulder belts for people in the back, too. It makes it a little bit nicer than just a lap belt. And those seats recline at several different positions also for the people in the back. Um, he added these little, these little skirts to kind of keep things from rolling out. If you have something on the floor, it won't roll out underneath the roll bar. There is actually a bar under this that ties this part of the roll bar to the back. Seat belts are tied into the roll bar. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. What it sounds like, I don't know what it's gonna sound like on video, but ram it up. And that's not smoke, it's steam, so. You can see that it's a serpentine belt set up and a Saginaw pump and a regular old Ford 
thick film module, which that's because you have to have that for the fuel injection. Optima battery. And we'll take it out for a little road test here and let you hear what it sounds like driving. Okay, I wanted to show you any rough spots. If you can see, it's bent a little bit right there. That would be an easy fix. But it does, it's, it's a little bit, got a little ding right there. Um, it's a little rough right in here. I got a little tiny ding right there. Maybe just a, a faded little bit of a wrinkle there. Um, the tailgate, a ding there, a ding there, and it's got this one here that you could see in the still photos that we posted. Um, CB antenna screws in right here, and that's in the back. He just takes it off so that it doesn't uh, hit when he goes into the garage. It's got uh, what are they called? Wild horses, guerrilla war flares on here, so they're supposedly indestructible. Rear bumpers are custom built, heavy. Both front and rear are custom built, really nice bumpers. Um, they're made so that it will mask the uh, the uh, fact that it has a three inch body lift. So it makes it look a little more correct when you're driving down the road. Okay, these holes are in, this is the only rust in the whole thing. And they've all been blasted out with a sandblaster and treated. But as you can see, it's on a nice flat panel. It would actually be an easy one to fix. So there's some there. And right there. I, I, I had thought they were pinholes, so I apologize for telling you they were pinholes, but, they, but they're not pinholes. They're actually a little fatter than my big fat thumb. So Anyway, but it's in a spot where it'd be easy to fix. So that's the only rust that there is. And most of the time that's going to be masked if it's, if it's in another Bronco because those holes, if I remember correctly, didn't show up on this tub until after we sandblasted it. They were, they were bondoed over. Anyway, there they are. You have the door. But... It has uh, individual electric windshield wiper motors. So you get rid of all that linkage that uh, typically is inside of a Bronco that bobs around. Has cup holders. Not that it's a big deal, but they're there. Oh, one other thing, the saddle tank. There is no saddle tank in this. He just usually ran it off the rear tank because the saddle tank seemed to get in the way of bolting the roll bar in. So um, let's lower the hood. What do you want to say? I was just going to say you got different gears. Um, this hood is a, of course, a cowl induction hood, but it's got one, a crack right here and a crack over there. Now, the cracks have actually been repaired on the back side, but they haven't been dressed off on the surface out here. So they're actually, for all intents and purposes, repaired they just need to be puttied over and smoothed out 